Hey out there, I'm Madison Parker with Clifton Door, and I just want to do a short intro on the art of making a primitive bow from a single stave, okay? What we have here, the camera can see this, this is a halfway finished Osage Eastern Woodland flat bow, but these skills were handed down from uh, father to son. We here at uh, Equip to Endure teach these skills, and I wanted to give you a short intro into what I'm sitting on here is what we call a shaving horse. And if the camera can see this, All right, so go ahead. what we got here is we have a shaving horse. And this shaving horse has a treadle bar. See that foot treadle right there? There's a foot treadle. And what it does is when you mash down on it, it anchors that piece of wood in there so that you can shave with it. Uh, if, if the camera can see this. But anyway, you can see how this free floats and it anchors like that, you see? And so that way I can take my draw knife and cut with it. But I wanted to show you, you know, moving over here, this is my draw knife. And this is the one of the starter draw knives I use for, for, for getting the, the rough part of the wood off. I get the rough shape with this and then when I want to get the fine tuned shape I go to the smaller tighter uh, sharper knives now this is a good knife for starting this is a good uh, a good shaving horse uh, excuse me uh, draw knife and these uh, draw knives uh, you you won't be able to find these draw knives in a regular hardware store these are specialty items and uh, you can find them at uh, antique stores and things like that but uh, you can find them new if you look if you look long enough this is the one I'm using for getting the rough, the rough wood off. And what I have here is a almost finished Eastern Woodland flat bow made from Osage. And you can see I've got a nice handle and the risers are set in it and the limbs are starting to be flat but I haven't tapered anything off and uh, I could probably have this bow ready to shoot by dark and it's probably uh, early, late morning right now. Anyway, um, Moving over to this. Now this is an Osage stave. Now this that I have in my hand is a, is the same thing that this came from. Okay, this this piece of wood right here came from the same tree. It's just that this piece of wood has had everything happen to it. We build into it, and this is the start. This is what it looks like when you split it off from the tree trunk. So I'm going to show you how I roughly, you know, use this use this uh, shaving horse that I'm sitting on to anchor my wood. I get my feet up on that, and there, there's virtually no way this cannot move anyway. So I just get this thing around here like this, start pulling wood. making these things that when you get to doing it you forget that some of the things you do but a lot of people don't understand why you do them but I'm just basically roughing it out I mean I'm taking a, a single stave of wood and taking wood off of it until I get it to where it looks like this and once I get it looking like this then I can start fine-tuning it and making the actual bow from it but to get from this to this now you're talking some time and some a lot of labor a lot of a lot of work but a lot of fun work it's a craft and basically I'm just I'm just pulling wood off this stave here I lift this wood up and I get under it and once I shift it like that I get under it okay now what I'll do is just pull this back like this try and keep going What you might want to do is get it to the side a little bit, and start pulling off the sides. I mean, it's a big piece of wood here. You're talking about a, a heck of a lot of work to build to build a bow. I mean, there's a lot of work in it, but it, it's tremendously rewarding, a lot of fun, and of course. Uh, 
It's nothing like taking your own homemade or handmade bow that you cut the tree down, then making, uh, putting a string on it, making your own arrows, and then going hunting with them. I, this is a, uh, this is something a lot of people have, uh, you know, forgotten about. I think modern society has completely put it on the, the bottom shelf, and most people uh, don't want to expend that much effort to build a weapon to go hunt with. But uh, we here at Equipped Endure Survival Portion, or well, I should say Wilderness Living, we're not so much survival people, we're wilderness living people. We like to build our own weapons and then go hunt with them. So we're trying to keep some of the old, some of the old, uh, the old skills that modern man has lost. We're, we're trying to keep them alive, and believe me, it's a very tough thing to do. Most people just don't want to work that hard to uh, go hunting. They'd rather go to the hardware store and buy a high-powered rifle and, you know, uh, buy a. Uh, a Matthew solo cam, you know, got every gadget and every bell and every whistle. And, you know, you go out and it's effortless to kill a deer with it. But, uh, you know, we hear, that's fine. We don't have any problem. I, I'm not against those people who do that. That's good. But I really believe that uh, the challenge, to me, all everything I'm doing here is about the challenge. Whether I'm hunting with a slingshot or a bow or a spear, it's not about, oh, I'm better than you because I hunt with a primitive weapon and I can hunt better than you. No, it's not about that. It's about myself and can I, can I achieve the challenge that I set forth before myself? Um, so if I set forth this challenge and I say, okay, I'm going to do this. I made up my mind. I'm going to do it. That's all there is to it. I'm going to do it. I make up my mind. I'm going to build my own weapon. I'm going to string the bow, I'm going to make my own arrows, I'm going to go out and take a deer with it, and that's my goals. You know, so if that's my goal, I'm going to achieve my goal, and then the next goal, and then onward and onward. But now, uh, not getting off subject, but this is my, this is my favorite weapon right here. But, uh, you know, we do like to teach, there's a lot of archers out there, and we're just doing this, this uh, short intro for the uh, shaving horse, to show you how this shaving horse works. Uh, you, draw, you draw a knife. All these, all these uh, tools and uh, equipment around here, this is old stuff. This is stuff you see in the old European stuff and old ancient, you know, way back. My granddaddy used to have one of these back when I was a young kid. I didn't know what it was, but now I know what it is. <laughs> Nevertheless, um, so this is a shaving horse. This is a draw knife, and this is a stave, and, and this is the, the beginning stages of how you bake, uh, make your own your own bow.